Hello viewers, como estas? Today's question is on logarithmic equation and in this logarithmic equation we want to figure out the values of x. If this is your first time of seeing me, please I want you to sit back and enjoy. If you enjoy what you see here, please consider subscribing, okay? Because in this question I'm going to walk you through this process one step at a time. So with that being said, let us dive into the question right now. Okay viewers, in this question we have various ways of solving this problem but the idea or the method that we're using is a change of base method and what does it mean to change a base in a logarithmic expression? If I have log a base b, I want to change the base to a new base called c it will become log a base c upon log b base c okay now you see we have a new base and A and B are the new arguments of this logarithmic expression. This is exactly how to change a base. So in this question, I will change the base to 10. Okay, so now I have this guy to become log x base 10 upon log 5 base 10. Okay, then equal to here become log 25 base 10 upon log x base 10. So viewers, I also want to recall something for you guys. If a logarithm is written without any base, that logarithm is automatically in base 10. So please take note of that. Now the next thing you want to do here, you can see that this 25 can be written in powers of 5. We all know that 25 is the same as 5 to the power 2. So I'll quickly want to erase this guy and replace it with 5 to the power 2. And also remember one of the laws of logarithm that says if I have log a to the power n base b, then it will become n log a base b. As it will say, the power will fall behind, then you have this expression. So that's exactly what's going to happen to this guy, which is here. So I'll have 2 log 5 base 10 upon log x base 10. Then here, of course, I'll have log x base 10 upon log 5 base 10. Now, viewers, the next thing you want to do is to cross and you multiply. Log x base 10 times log x base 10 is going to give me log x base 10 all squared. And of course, log 5 base 10 times 2 log 5 base 10 is going to give me 2 log 5 base 10 all squared because we have double log 5 base 10 here. Okay, of course, naturally from algebra, when you have a square root like this, uh, a, a square like this, we want to take away the square, is to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So if I take the square root of both sides of the equation, and um, for this guy, like this, of course, I'll have a plus and minus sign here, okay? So the square, we take out the square, now I'm left with, oh, let us take away these guys from here. Yeah, so when this square, take away the square root, I'll be left with this guy, log x base 10, then equal to, uh, in this case here, you know from the laws of sort, this guy can further be split as the square root of 2 times the square root of log 5 base 10 all squared, okay? So, of course, here will be the plus or minus square root of 2 times the square will take away the root, so I have log 5 base 10. I hope this is clear, okay? Yeah. So, let me take away these guys from here. So we proceed from this point. Now you can see, because of this plus or minus sign, I'm going to get two values for x. So I'm going to split it up from here, right here. So I have this guy to be log x base 10 uh, equal to, I'll take the positive 2 here. So I have root 2 log 5 base 10, okay? Uh, yeah, at this point, I want root 2 to go back to this guy as his power. So I'll have log x base 10 is equal to log 5 base 10 root 2, okay, as the root 2 is returning back to 5 as its power. Remember from the logarithm law I gave you somewhere here. Okay, now you can see that log 10 base 10 can take away log 10 base 10, and of course, x is equal to 5 root 2. Yeah, this is the first value of x. Now let us see the second value of x. So of course, we take the negative sign for the roots now. So we have log x base 10, that is this guy equal to now we take, we take the negative sign right now so we have negative root 2 log 5 base 10 and of course this guy is going to travel to this place to become the power of 5 so i have log x base 10 is equal to uh, 
log 5 minus root 2 base 10. Yes. Now at this point, uh, this guy is going to cancel out this guy. So you have x is equal to 5 to the power minus root 2. You can leave your answer this way or you can further say that x is equal to 1 upon 5 root 2. This is the values of x. This is the value of x for 1 and this is the value of x for 2. Either this guy and this guy is correct. Now, I have tested these solutions we got and they are true. So these solutions are legit. If you have anything to say concerning the solution, please put it down in the comment section. I would love to see them. But I hope this is an easy method for you. See you in the next tutorial. But please subscribe so that you stay connected with us. Bye. Love you. God bless you.